What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. Today, I got my friend Yak Pack here. This is his first appearance on the channel. Y'all might know who he is. So he does a little bit of YouTubing himself. What are you, sniffing my frog? What are you, what are you like doing? i sniff random things. Okay, all right, whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> but today, as y'all know, y'all clicked on the title, Cheap Whopper Plopper versus Expensive Whopper Plopper. So today I have three Whopper Ploppers for y'all, just a variety of different price ranges. So we have our regular Whopper Plopper, the one everybody loves and knows. These things are like $16 a pop for, uh, what is this, like the 190 size? That's the 130 size. 130 size, $16 for that. Then I got the cheap option, and this one is a Savage Gear one. This one I think is $11. And then I found the most expensive one. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, YouTube hey, video. hey, Recording. hey, Horn blow. <laughs> That's how it goes, guys. That's how it goes. But the most expensive one. We got the $30 Whopper Plopper that I found online on Tackle Warehouse. This is the most expensive one I could find, which is just crazy expensive. So we're gonna take all these out today, just kind of experiment with them, see how they perform up against each other. So also, there's one other thing that I wanted to show y'all. TJ, take the camera for yeah. me real quick. Guys, I spent some time, I went around really thinking about some video ideas and was just looking through Tackle Warehouse online, just looking at all the baits they had, just trying to think of some crazy stuff. And man, I ordered a buttload of baits for y'all. Just a bunch of crazy stuff for some future videos. Some of this stuff you've seen, some of you haven't. I mean, we have these crazy topwater baits that I just did in a video. This is a, actually this one didn't come from Tackle Warehouse, but this is a homemade frog that I got off a different website. We got crazy soft plastics. We got world's most expensive crawls. We got all kinds of stuff coming up on the channel in the next few months, but just a whole variety of stuff. So I'm like super excited to get into this in some future videos, but for now, I want to tell y'all about a giveaway that me and TJ are doing for this video. We uh, kind of got up with Luz and we're going to be giving away two American Hero combos for y'all. One on Yak Pack's channel and one on my channel. So make sure y'all go over to Yak Pack's channel, subscribe, and we'll check out his video for our collab today. And let's go ahead and hit the water and hopefully we catch a big one. Here we go guys. We've made it to the first pond and I forgot to mention I'm down in Jacksonville today. We've kind of met down here, me, TJ. Norm and Noah, we're all down here today to do some collaborating. Norm and Noah are over at a different pond and we're gonna be meeting up with them in a little bit. But today, we're gonna go ahead and try to do some pond hopping. We're starting out with the regular Whopper Plopper. $16, $17, something like that for this bad boy. So we're gonna have to see how these fish respond down here. I've never fished any of these ponds. Noah said he's fished it before and he said it's pretty good fishing. So we're gonna hopefully catch us some good ones today. At least that is what the game plan is. Also, I almost forgot to mention for the giveaway, I didn't really give y'all any details on how to win that or what we're doing for that. I just kind of said that we're doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away all the details for that later in the video. So just make sure you stick around and you can find out how you might win yourselves a lose combo. I think it's like an $80 combo. So that's a pretty, it's a pretty good little gift we're giving away. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. Definitely want to try to give back to y'all as much as we can. One thing I will say, there's a bunch of gunk in this pond, making it a little bit difficult to fish these whopper ploppers. Never know what you're gonna find fishing. Here's a nice little hand grenade. That's always good. Yo. Yo. Hey, this place looks busted, bro. You wanna find another? You wanna find another spot? Yeah, I haven't got a nibble. It looks busted. Like it still looks trash. So. I just dropped the pin on another spot, so we'll meet back at the truck and then go there. Cool. I'll meet you right back All at this right. little spot in All the right. corner. Oh, there goes my whopper plopper. What? So there goes my whopper plopper. The middle of the pond. <laughs> That's always good. Uh, it's way, I mean, it's past the fountain, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> it went flying. Well, since I just threw off my big regular whopper plopper, the only other regular whopper plopper I have is the smaller size. So I'm gonna tie that on until I catch a fish with it. Then we're gonna move on to one of those other cheaper, more expensive options. Maybe, just maybe my whopper plopper will float back to the bank over here but if we're fishing this long enough. We're just gonna have to wait and see. No luck here, we're moving on to the next pond. Pond numero quattro. Let's see if we can't finally get us a fish here. Everything we fish so far has been kind of garbage. TJ, you wanna go fish these pipes down here? I say that'd probably be a pretty good indication of of how healthy this pond is. 
I mean, all the wind is blowing that way, so I think more fish are going to be stacked up down that, that end, but I feel like this end's probably going to have them if they're here. Got him. Got him. There we go. There we go. It's a decent one. It's a decent one. Come on. Come on in here, buddy. First one of the day. Finally got him on that whopper plopper. We've been at it. This is like our, what, our fifth pond? Easily. Easily. So we've been trying to figure these fish out today. Definitely been struggling a little bit. Oh, oh he's got some kind of little weird. Oh, I'm kind of stuck there. He's got some kind of little weird marking right there. It's a little red something going on got them off but we got them on our first whopper plopper as y'all know earlier i flung off the big one so this is the smaller size regular whopper plopper so that is fish number one on that so we're gonna go ahead and probably work with this a little bit more see if we can't get like one or two more fish and then move on to one of the other whopper ploppers time to let this little fatty go bye baby dude let this little present a little scale on the hook peel that sucker off and let's get back to casting hey tj i think you i think you dropped a rod oh my God. <laughs> bro i can hit some dingers yeah. throw me a pitch throw me a pitch go all right we're, we're okay yeah. here we go give me a dinger oh <laughs> bro you, you gotta put it in the strike zone <laughs> bro home run home run <laughs> that's a grand slam if i catch a fish on this cast it is now a new day. The topwater bite down in Florida was absolutely awful. So I figured I'd pack it up while I was down there and film something else with the boys while I had some time with them. But I'm now back in my place in South Carolina and I was just kind of, oh, oh, there we go, there we go. I was gonna say I waited for some good conditions for these fish to be hitting topwater and it seems to be good conditions. <laughs> <laughs> that got me totally off guard. I just got started out here. I thought it was gonna take me a little bit longer than that to get a bite, but that fish came right off the base of that stump over there. <laughs> nice and feisty. Get on up in here. Get on up in here, my boy. Yes, sir. That is the first fish on the regular Whopper Plopper, and that's a, probably a solid upper two, maybe, maybe three. I'm not quite sure. I don't think he's quite there. I kind of lost my train of thought there. I was not expecting to get a bite that quick the second I started talking about kind of what was going on. But basically I was down in South Florida, wasn't having any luck with that whopper plopper, but I figured I'd pack it up while I was down there and pick it back up when I got back to my place when there was some better conditions to catch these fish on top water. And that is exactly what the case is today. This fish smoked it. I mean, I've been out here maybe two or three minutes just waiting for the right conditions and today, as you can tell, the results are in. They are biting top water. Great, great fish. I'm actually gonna throw this one on the scale just to see what she weighs. I'm actually pretty curious as to what this fish weighs. I don't think she's quite three. I think I'm like two eight-ish. That's kind of what my guess is. Let's see. Ooh, 298. Well, I'll let y'all see that. Check that out, 298. What a fish. That is the way you wanna start out for sure. Let's go ahead and get this bad girl in. Bye, baby. Off she goes. Oh, crushed it, crushed it. That is another good fish right there. Up underneath that branch. I told you they're just definitely holding up on that structure. That's a better fish than the first one too. Come on in here, my dude. Come on in here, my dude. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's a fatty. That is a fatty. Oh, 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 okay, 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 all right, chill, my dude, chill, chill. You got that big old treble hook on your bottom lip, so I'm not trying to lip you. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at that, he threw the, that whopper plopper to the second I got this thing up on his lip. Shut up, bird, he's screeching at me. What did I tell y'all about the top water bite today? We are catching some chunks. Oh, my, that bird is screeching at me. <laughs> How about that, jeez. Let's go ahead and get this big girl on the scale. I wanna see what she weighs. My guess is probably like four and a half, somewhere like that. That is a fatty. Come on up here, buddy. Let's see what she weighs. 439. Almost four and a half, right in the ballpark of what I thought she weighed. She clobbered that thing. 
But on that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our next Whopper Plopper and get this girl back in the water. Off she goes. Let's cut this bad boy off and move on to the next. I think I'm gonna break out the expensive Whopper Plopper, the $30 Whopper Plopper. This thing is absurdly expensive, but it's a cool looking bait. Slightly bigger than the other one. I'm gonna give it a nice little size comparison right here. So it's just a little bit bigger profile, but all that means is hopefully a bigger fish is gonna bite this thing. And I don't think we're gonna have a problem with it. The top water bite has been phenomenal today. So hopefully that continues to stay the same. Let's go ahead and tie this bad boy on. I've never fished with this specific Whopper Plopper before, so I'm excited to get this thing in the water. I'm hoping it's got some killer sound and action for being 30 bucks. See if it makes a difference. I, I really don't think it will, but it's definitely a cool bait. <laughs> annihilated annihilated that took all of like three minutes if that i mean I, I don't even think i took more than five or six casts i, I doubt it took three minutes this is another three pounder all day all day <laughs> the fatties are out and about <laughs> thank you <laughs> it's it's a good one. <laughs> oh, almost fell in that's a fatty and the big ones keep on coming <laughs> guys check that out no words guys the big ones just keep on coming i am not kidding i've been sitting here waiting for just a really good day where i just thought the conditions would be <clears throat> perfect for the top water bite and that's what i waited for and it, it seems to pay it off these fish are just annihilating all these whopper ploppers that i'm throwing at him this guy's got himself pinned up pretty good there we go there goes one there he's got one in the side two i've got that one out but that is a fat fish another probably like three and a half pounder i'm gonna put this one to scale too i usually don't weigh all of my fish but today all of them big bit all of them been mm, still can't talk all of them have been big today just been a little choked up on my words just a tad bit i haven't been able to think because i've been catching these fish too fast Ooh, almost almost four three 880. I don't know if y'all can see that too well, but this guy is ready to get back in, so I think I'm gonna let him go. So let's go ahead and do that. Adios. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. The top water bite has been insane. And not to mention there was two fish that y'all didn't even see because I forgot to turn the GoPro back on after the first fish. Both of those were close to three pounds too. So shoo. I mean, we're gonna keep on moving down the bank throwing this big old whopper plopper and i'm hoping just hoping that we get a goliath today the conditions are definitely seeming to be aligned to make that happen what i'll probably do after i fish with all these baits for probably like 30 minutes or so I don't, i'm not even sure if i've said that or not my train of thought is all over the place if i'm being frank but what i'll probably do is definitely go over these baits at the end let you know what i like about each one at each price point and which one i actually recommend buying i've never fished with the cheaper one or the expensive one so i think after probably like 30 minutes or so i'll have a pretty good indication of what i like and don't like about these baits and just how they stack up to the regular whopper plopper one thing I will say about this Whopper Plopper is that it is a freaking cannonball. I mean, that has a lot to do with how big it is, but shoo, I mean, when this thing hits the water, it makes its presence known. Well, I had some instant success with this thing. Like after just a few casts, I had no more bites after that besides just like a little small peck that was just from a little small fish. But I think that was mostly just due to kind of where I was fishing. Uh, that first spot I was fishing, that first corner, that first bend was just absolutely loaded up with bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to our cheaper Whopper Plopper because we got about an hour of daylight left. I wanna make sure I'm able to fish with that as well. Let's go ahead and break into our last and final whopper plopper and like i said at the beginning of the video this one is i th think like 10 or 11 dollars and like right out the gate i can already kind of tell this one isn't quite the same quality as the other two but i think we're gonna get the job done on this thing i like it it's a little bit smaller profile than this big old mega one this one's definitely meant for some big fish so i think i'll have a little bit better luck getting more bites with this one just because of the size but let's go ahead and tie this sucker on
all tied up. Let's go ahead and get this sucker in the water and see how it performs. Oh, that didn't sound good. My line is all kinds of tangled up in there. Sheesh. That line didn't sound good, but the Whopper Plopper does. It definitely has a good little plop to it. A little bit more subtle. It doesn't quite have that same, like, really distinct plopper sound that a Whopper Plopper sound. If you fish with one, you know what I'm talking about. It definitely is, like, the same, but just a little bit quieter. Oh, oh, no, no, I lost him. That was a monster, guys. Holy smokes, back in this little pocket, that fish annihilated this thing. See if he'll come back. Oh no. I can't believe he didn't get hooked up good. Ooh, another little nibble. Hookup ratio, not too good so far with this thing. Oh, come on, that's the third one that's missed this thing. Oh. He didn't even nip it, he didn't, he just completely missed it and didn't go back for it. Oh, come back, come back. Right off the top of that tree. Come on, that's another one that's missed it. Jeez Louise, come back, please. I can't believe how much they're missing this thing. There's a fish hopping right there. Come on, come back, come on. Oh my gosh, the amount of short strikes I've had. Sheesh. Please, something just come up and inhale this thing. There we go on the balls right there. I went to check a phone, or oh, not a phone, I went to check my phone for a text message I just got and this fish came up and bit that thing when it was a dead stop. Finally got one to just take it. They just kept nipping at it behind it and just weren't even hitting the bait. Come up here, my little dude. Smallest one so far today, but that's okay. I'm just glad I finally got another fish. I started out so strong, got a bunch of good ones in the boat, then went on quite a long stretch without getting anything. And that is a great little fish. Thanks, bud. Shoo but I want to go ahead and jump into one of the giveaway, which I'm going to get to after I talk about this, which is the Whopper Ploppers themselves. Which one do I recommend? Which ones do I not recommend? And it kind of varies on my recommendations. So for the most expensive Whopper Plopper, that one is the biggest one. And if you're really targeting a just gargantuous sized bass, I think that could be a really good option. I don't know if I would spend $30 for it, that's a pretty steep price point, and I think there's a lot of other baits that could get the job done, but if you have a lot of confidence in a Whopper Plopper and you wanna go ahead and spend the extra money to try to catch that really big bass, that is not a terrible option. I mean, you could give it a go, but if you're just looking to buy a Whopper Plopper, try it out, the cheapest one, I think it'll get the job done for most people, and I definitely think that's a good place to be. But if you're looking for something that's just a little bit better quality, the one I personally recommend is just the standard old Whopper Plopper. I know it's a little bit pricey, but it definitely catches fish, so hopefully you enjoy it if you do get one yourselves. But now to the giveaway. For the giveaway, all you need to do to enter a chance to win is one, be subscribed to the channel, drop a like if you'd like, and then third and final thing is just drop a comment below. Let me know which Whopper Plopper that you would buy if you'd get one personally, or if you even like Whopper Ploppers. But hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. And as always, best in this passion, peace out.